Have you ever had a dream so vivid that when you woke up, you felt like there was something more to it? What if I told you that God may be trying to communicate with you through these dreams? That's right. Throughout history, many people have believed that our dreams are more than just random images generated by our subconscious. Padre Pio, one of the most revered saints in the Catholic Church, firmly believed that dreams can be God's way of sending us important messages while we sleep. Imagine that while you are in a deep sleep, God is sending you signs and direct messages into your life. What would it be like to discover that your dreams are not merely coincidences or figments of your mind, but rather divine words that could change the course of your life? In this video, we will explore set specific dreams that, according to Padre Pio's experiences and teachings, are ways that God speaks directly to you during the night. Each of these dreams carries a unique and powerful message, and understanding them can be the key to interpreting what God is trying to tell you. Type in the comments, Padre Pio, give me sweet dreams, but why is this so important to you? Well. If you've ever woken up from a dream feeling like there was something special about it, or if you've ever wondered if your dreams might be trying to tell you something, this video is for you. We're not talking about ordinary or trivial dreams, but experiences that can carry messages of comfort, warning, revelation, and even divine protection. By watching until the end, you'll learn not only to recognize these signs, but also to interpret them in a way that you can apply these lessons to your daily life. You may be wondering, but how can I know if a dream is really a message from God? Padre Pio left us a wealth of teachings on how to identify and interpret these dreams. He believed that God uses our dreams to guide us, protect us, and reveal truths that we cannot see during the day. This means that by paying attention to your dreams and learning to interpret them, you can discover a new level of communication with the divine. Don't forget to share this video with as many people as possible. Get ready, because what you're about to learn here has the potential to transform your spiritual life. By delving into these seat types of dreams, you'll not only open your mind to new possibilities, but you'll also strengthen your faith and connection with God. Let's go together on this journey of discovery and self-knowledge, where each dream can be an open door to a divine message. So if you're ready to explore the mysteries of your dreams and understand how God may be speaking to you while you sleep, stay with me until the end. I promise you'll leave this video with a new perspective on your dreams and perhaps with answers to questions you didn't even know you had. This is the time to unlock the secrets of your dreams and discover how they can profoundly impact your life. First dream, the warning dream. One of the most significant dreams, according to Padre Pio, is the warning dream. These dreams are not simply manifestations of our fears, but rather divine warnings about choices and paths that can lead us to ruin, whether spiritual, moral, or even physical. When you dream about dangerous or uncomfortable situations, it may be a sign that God is trying to warn you about bad decisions you are about to make. These dreams often involve powerful symbols such as dark roads, violent storms, or encounters with unknown people. Each of these elements can represent something in your life that deserves attention. God, in His infinite wisdom, uses these dreams to protect us, offering a chance to reevaluate our decisions before it is too late. For example, imagine someone who repeatedly dreams of walking down a dark path, but never manages to reach the end. This dream may symbolize a path in reality that seems attractive, but is fraught with hidden dangers. It is a warning to reconsider before proceeding. Life example. Carlos, a businessman, dreamed that he was driving off a bridge at high speed. After some reflection, he decided to abandon a risky business venture that could have bankrupted his company. The dream was the wake-up call he needed to make a safer decision and preserve his future. 
Second dream, the consolation dream. Consolation dreams are moments when, during our darkest times, God embraces us with his love and peace. Padre Pio believed that, in moments of deep sadness or doubt, God uses our dreams to remind us that we are not alone, offering us comfort and hope. These dreams often bring a sense of calm, as if an invisible hand is guiding us out of the darkness. In these dreams, you may encounter loved ones who have passed away, feel the presence of angels, or visualize scenes of tranquility and harmony. They are a clear sign that, even in the most difficult times, there is a greater power watching over us and providing us with the strength we need to move forward. These dreams serve as a reminder that God is always by our side, even when all seems lost. They renew our faith and offer us emotional relief, allowing us to rise again with a new perspective. Life Example After the loss of her mother, Mariana was consumed by grief and longing. One night she dreamed of her mother in a field of flowers, smiling at her and telling her that she was at peace. This dream brought Mariana an immense sense of comfort, helping her to accept the loss and find the strength to continue her life with the certainty that her mother was in a better place. Attention! If you suffer from insomnia, nightmares, and anxiety, be very careful. You need to pray a lot to get rid of all this. You need to pray every day, otherwise your life will be at great risk. If you want protection for your life, you need to download the ebook, The Power of Padre Pio. This ebook contains prayers for all moments. If you want to live a life of divine protection, click on the link in the first pinned comment and download The Power of Padre Pio right now. Third dream, the dream of revelation. Revelation dreams are those rare moments in which God grants us visions or messages about hidden truths or future events. Padre Pio taught that these dreams are precious and should be received with great reverence and attention. Unlike other dreams, they have a special clarity, often bringing visions that go beyond what we can perceive in our conscious state. In these dreams, God may show us something about ourselves, other people around us, or even events that are yet to happen. They may come in the form of symbols, detailed visions, or even as an intuitive feeling that persists even after we wake up. It is important to understand that these dreams are not meant to scare us, but to prepare and guide us. They offer us a unique opportunity to stay one step ahead, to make wiser decisions, and to better align ourselves with God's plans. For example, someone may dream that they are at a crossroads, where one path leads to a beautiful landscape and the other to a dangerous ravine. This image may represent a decision that the person will soon need to make, where one choice will lead to success and the other to failure. The dream serves as a revelation for the person to reflect on their options and make the right choice. Life Example Sophia, a young student, began to repeatedly dream that she was in a different classroom with teachers she did not know. Shortly after, she received an unexpected opportunity to study at a prestigious university in another country. When she accepted, she realized that her dream was revealing this great change in her life, preparing her for the new journey that was to come. Fourth dream, the mission dream. Mission dreams are those in which God reveals to us a specific purpose or task that we must accomplish in our lives. Padre Pio believed that these dreams are a way for God to guide us directly, showing us the path he wants us to follow. These dreams are often accompanied by a sense of clarity and urgency, awakening in us an intense desire to take action. In these dreams, you may see yourself performing a task that resonates deeply in your heart, such as helping someone in need, preaching a message of love, or even leading a just cause. These dreams not only inspire us, but also challenge us to step out of our comfort zone and take concrete steps to fulfill the mission that God has entrusted to us. 
They are a divine call to live a life of purpose and meaning, aligned with God's plans for us. For example, a person may repeatedly dream that they are building a home for the homeless, or that they are caring for children in an orphanage. These dreams may be an indication that God is calling the person to engage in charitable work or to dedicate their time and resources to humanitarian causes. Life Example John, a successful lawyer, began to dream that he was defending wrongly accused people in court. Initially, he ignored these dreams, but over time, the message became clear. God was calling him to use his skills to help those who could not defend themselves. John then decided to dedicate part of his time to offering free legal services to needy people, thus finding new meaning in his profession and deep satisfaction in fulfilling his divine mission. Fifth Dream – The Dream of Purification Dreams of purification are those in which God confronts us with our sins or weaknesses, calling us to repentance and spiritual renewal. Padre Pio taught that these dreams are a powerful way for God to guide us back to the path of virtue, allowing us to recognize and correct our mistakes before they lead us further away from Him. These dreams are not just reflections of our worries or guilt, but rather divine invitations to inner transformation. During these dreams, you may find yourself facing the consequences of your wrong actions or being placed in situations that reflect your flaws and imperfections. These dreams are often intense and can leave a strong emotional mark, awakening in us the desire to change. God, in His mercy, offers us the opportunity to purify our soul, correct our ways, and draw closer to Him through these dreams. For example, someone may dream that they are trying to cross a river, but are constantly blocked by a powerful current. This river can symbolize the sins or destructive behaviors that are preventing the person from progressing spiritually. Life Example Martha, a businesswoman, repeatedly dreamed that she was trapped in a dark maze, unable to find the way out. After several nights with the same dream, she began to reflect on her life and realized that she was allowing herself to be carried away by greed and ambition, neglecting her family and her values. He then decided to change his behavior, reconnecting with his faith and his loved ones, and found the peace he had been looking for. Sixth Dream – The Dream of Protection Dreams of protection are one of the most notable ways in which God watches over us, sending us signs and warnings to protect us from impending danger. Padre Pio firmly believed that in many cases, God or His angels communicate with us during our sleep to warn us of situations that could cause us harm, whether physically, emotionally, or spiritually. These dreams act as a kind of divine shield, guiding us to avoid situations that could have serious consequences. These dreams can range from simple warnings to more complex visions. For example, you might dream that you are about to board a plane, but something inside you hesitates and, at the last moment, decides not to board. Upon waking, this feeling of hesitation may persist, causing you to reconsider an important trip or decision. This type of dream may be God's way of preventing you from entering situations that could be harmful or dangerous. In addition, dreams of protection may also include specific symbols that indicate danger, such as threatening animals, violent storms, or dark environments. Each of these elements can represent something or someone in your life who may be trying to harm you. Interpreting these symbols carefully and paying attention to what they may be revealing is essential to understanding the divine message of protection. For example, a person may repeatedly dream of a bridge that is about to collapse, preventing him or her from crossing it. This dream can symbolize a decision or path that, if followed, will lead to serious problems. By reconsidering his or her choices and seeking safer alternatives, the person can avoid disastrous consequences. Life Example Paolo, 
a young student, dreamed that he was driving on a slippery road on a stormy night. In the dream, he lost control of the car and ended up having a serious accident. He woke up feeling alert and decided not to drive that day, even though he had an important appointment. Later, he learned that on that same road, there had been an accident involving several cars due to the bad weather. Paolo recognized that his dream was a divine intervention that protected him from a potential disaster. These dreams of protection remind us that God is always vigilant, watching over us even when we are unaware of the dangers around us. They serve as a warning to be cautious in our decisions and to heed the signs we receive, both in the physical and spiritual worlds. Learning to trust these dreams and act on them can save us from many adverse situations and keep us on the path to safety and peace. By interpreting and following the warnings we receive in dreams, we can avoid danger and align ourselves more deeply with God's will. They are proof of God's constant care for us, showing us that even in the darkest hours, we are never alone. Seventh Dream – The Dream of Divine Encounter Dreams of divine encounter are a rare and profoundly spiritual experience in which the presence of God, Jesus, the Virgin Mary, or the angels manifests itself in a clear and tangible way. For Padre Pio, these dreams were moments of intense communion with heaven, where the divine revealed itself directly to the dreamer. These encounters are not merely symbolic. They carry such a powerful spiritual charge that they leave an indelible mark on the soul, renewing faith and providing a sense of peace and connection with the sacred. In a dream of divine encounter, you may experience dialogues with sacred figures, glimpse heavenly landscapes, or even feel a divine presence by your side. These dreams are often accompanied by a sense of serenity and comfort that persists even after waking. They not only convey messages, but also serve as moments of grace where the dreamer is blessed and strengthened spiritually. For example, imagine dreaming that you are walking through a heavenly garden filled with light and peace and suddenly encounter Jesus or the Virgin Mary. They smile at you, exchange words of encouragement, or simply place their hand on your shoulder, conveying an indescribable feeling of love and protection. This type of dream is a transformative experience that can renew your faith and provide strength to face future challenges. These divine encounters in dreams are not common, but when they occur, they are unmistakable. Padre Pio taught that these dreams are a divine gift, an opportunity to be in the presence of the sacred and to receive guidance, comfort, and blessings directly from heaven. They can occur in times of crisis when we most need a sign from God or simply as a reminder of God's infinite love for us. These dreams can also be interpreted as answers to fervent prayers where the dreamer seeks a deeper connection with the divine. People who have these dreams often report a sense of spiritual renewal, as if they had received a new purpose or a stronger calling to live according to God's will. Life Example Clara, a woman who was going through a crisis of faith, dreamed one night that she was kneeling in an empty church, praying in silence. Suddenly, a radiant light filled the room, and she saw the figure of Jesus walking toward her. Without saying a word, he placed his hand on her head, and she was overcome by a feeling of absolute peace. Upon waking, Clara felt profoundly transformed and found the strength to renew her faith and move forward with confidence, knowing that God was by her side. These dreams of divine encounter not only strengthen faith, but also remind the dreamer that he or she is loved and protected by God, they invite us to live our lives with more faith, hope, and love, knowing that even in the most difficult moments, we are under the constant care of heaven. From these experiences, many find a new direction in their lives, a reinforcement of their spirituality, and an even stronger connection with the divine. Warning Dream 
The moral of warning dreams is that God, in His infinite mercy, warns us of dangers and wrong choices that can lead us away from good. These dreams are a call to vigilance and discernment. By paying attention to them, we can avoid pitfalls and walk a safer path that is aligned with God's will. Consolation Dream The moral of consolation dreams is that, even in the most difficult and painful moments, God never abandons us. These dreams are a powerful reminder that God's love and peace are always available to us, even when everything seems to be falling apart. They encourage us to trust in God, to seek His presence in times of pain, and to find comfort in His promise to never leave us alone. Revelation Dream The moral of Revelation Dreams is that God, in His wisdom, offers us glimpses of the future and hidden truths so that we can better prepare for the challenges that lie ahead. These dreams encourage us to seek discernment and be open to divine guidance in all areas of our lives. They teach us to trust in God's plan, even when we don't fully understand what's happening around us. Mission Dream The moral of mission dreams is that each of us has a unique and special purpose that God has entrusted to us. These dreams are a call to action, to step outside our comfort zone, and to dedicate our lives to serving others and fulfilling God's will. They remind us that we are part of something greater than ourselves, and that our actions can have a significant impact on the world. Purification Dream The moral of purification dreams is that God, in His mercy, offers us the opportunity to repent and renew ourselves spiritually. These dreams confront us with our sins and shortcomings, calling us to a life of greater virtue and closeness to God. They teach us the importance of humility, acknowledging our imperfections, and constantly seeking to purify our soul. Dream of Protection the moral of dreams of protection is that God, in His goodness, guides and protects us, even when we are unaware of the dangers around us. These dreams remind us of the need to be attentive to divine signs and to trust in the protection that God offers us. They teach us to act prudently and to follow the warnings we receive in our dreams to avoid situations that could cause us harm. Dream of Divine Encounter The moral of dreams of divine encounter is that in times of need or spiritual seeking, God makes Himself present in a tangible way to bless and strengthen us. These dreams are a rare gift that provides us with a deep connection with the divine. They remind us that even in our human condition, we can experience the direct presence of God and receive His blessings. Remember, do not underestimate the power of a dream. It can be the means by which God is trying to speak directly to you. If you enjoyed this video and want to continue exploring deep spiritual topics, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like it, and share it with your friends. Let us together decipher the mysteries of heaven and find the peace we so seek.